Hi, I'm Jacqueline Burkett with Jefferson Davis Community College, and I'm here to help you get familiar with using Canvas. Canvas is used by traditional, hybrid, and online courses to store files and or submit assignments. The first thing you need to know is how to log into Canvas. Go to the JD website at jdcc.edu, hover your mouse over the JD Tools link, and then click on Canvas. Once you click on Canvas, you'll be prompted with a login screen. Enter your username and password here. On this screen, you are presented with these cards as shown here. Each card represents a current course that you will be enrolled in. The four tabs beneath the course represents the four main features for that course. Announcements, Assignments, Topics, and Files. This may change depending on the applications that your instructor has turned on for that course such as the special topics class here, the announcements feature active. Now, the facts that you need to know. This is the menu here on the left. You can get to your course by clicking on the card that represents the course you need to enter. Once you do, you will see another menu. This menu listed here. The screen that opens depends on your instructor's preference. You may see the announcements page or you may see the modules page as you do here. You can click on each of these to get to the other sections, such as announcements, your grades, people, which will show you your classmates and your instructor, and then modules. The modules is also listed here, as we have already pulled up. Usually your instructor will have the course syllabus and class information at the top, and then your assignments will be listed in weeks or by specific topics below. Also take notice on these modules here, this one, and then this one, there are prerequisites. This means you must view this section, contact information and useful links, before proceeding to the syllabus section. And then again here on week one, prerequisites, you must view the syllabus and important document section, the one before it, before proceeding to week one. If you look back at the menu bar here, you'll see calendar, inbox and account. Calendar will show you your assignments due dates as long as your instructor has a set date on the assignment. You can turn your classes on and off by clicking the card next to the course name. You can go to inbox to view messages from your instructor. It will show here and you can also send an email to your instructor by clicking the new message icon here. You simply select your course. You can click the icon here to view your teacher. Add your subject, the body of your message, and click send. You can also add an attachment if you need to. Going back to the menu, you can click on account to change your profile picture the settings, notifications, and or you can log out. To change your profile picture, click on profile and then you'll see a circle here. You can click it to change your picture. You can choose to upload one. You can take a picture if you have a webcam or you can choose from Gravatar. Once you get it, you can hit save and it will update your profile. You can add additional contact information here. You can add a personal email address. You can add a cell phone to receive text messages. Just be mindful of texting fees depending on your phone plan. You can change your notifications. This means here you will be notified through your email address weekly of your of due dates. You can change that to be immediately or daily summaries and you can change or add for all of the contact methods that you have for each of the categories. If you have any questions you can email support at jdcc.edu or you can call the help desk at 809-1515. Thank you.